Stobart Rails, I have those. Yeah. I've got one of those at Enscale in Stobart livery. <laughs> and these. <laughs> oh, this is train truck, isn't it? Ow. You want to bet? Even on train truck, it's taken them sometimes more than that, more than that now, about. You're dealing with 130 tons there. You wouldn't want that to slip out, would you? And they won't be on the ship by then. That's what I mean, yeah. <laughs> That's a lady even further. Each tower has a rotor diameter of 120 meters. 
with a maximum height of 150 metres. And below the waterline, up to 50 metres of foundations down to the seabed. Three new offshore towers are ready to be delivered, each one in three sections. Twice the size of the land-based wind turbines also made on site. The biggest challenge is the five mm. sections, uh, almost double the size of what we're Didn't know that. The largest sections are 36 metres long and need to travel by road to the harbour, coordinated by transport manager James McKinna. This is a 136 ton, 6 metre diameter section and all craft ready for shipping. First stage of moving this section is uh, positioning our two wind stackers mm. at either end. <laughs> Each section must be moved by two unique lifting vehicles known as reach stackers that can lift 155 tons each. It's a very complex tandem lift between two operators. Campbell McGrain oh, and Craig Connor. Okay, Campbell, I'll give you a slide of it. Each section of the tower is protected by a steel H frame. So that was just when I was up remote on my cartridge and ammunition. Both reach stackers must hook under the metal rim. So that's me, I'm happy that the cartridge in possession. So me and Campbell have just begun to lift in tandem. My arm would take. Ready to lift here for you. You guys happy, right? It's a bit like watching you to me, you to me, isn't it? Each section is worth around two hundred thousand pounds. Any mistake now would be a disaster. And that's just the tower part of the turbine. Huh. How much is the whole turbine worth? Each. A lot, I imagine. Clever. The rocks are bent here is ready to leave, and the sections need to be driven to the harbour, but they're so big they can only be moved at night. The port of Immingham, near Grimsby. A 127-ton locomotive is being winched onto a modular trailer by heavy haulage specialist Terry Savory. It's near a place called Grinsbury Docks. Yeah. Yeah. The last of the axles are almost... Thought there was. Go on then, Keep going, keep going, keep going. heading across the North Sea to Germany and needs to be securely fastened to the trailer. These are chains and binders with <laughs> rubber and we're going to put 16 onto it. If I could find room to put 18 or 20 on, I would. These fashions we can put 8 ton onto them, each one, quite comfortably without stretching them, without causing any problems at all. With the class 66 firmly strapped down, Terry must get a move on to make the boat. The trip to Germany is something else. They have a good and a bad boat, and we never know which one we're going to have. The bad boat isn't too pleasant. And you're lucky if you have a TV that works.